I'll ask students, you know, why do they, why do they choose Shawnee State? I've had the great opportunity to develop processes and products uh, all over the world, from living in Germany for two years to develop shampoo caps, to uh, working and making sunglasses in California, to developing medical and automotive parts in a lot of automotive manufacturers out there. And I'm looking for education, experience, or a combination of both. And it's very, very challenging to find that. And when I see um, the electromechanical program from Shawnee particularly, or the computer engineering program from Shawnee, I know exactly what skills they're bringing to the table. And we have had great success with hiring the candidates that have that in their background. So, uh, Krauspify is a uh, global manufacturer for uh, plastics machinery equipment. So we make injection molders. Uh, we actually have one out here in the lab. We also make uh, extruders uh, that manufacture pipelines, recycling. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the uh, Pure Cycle right down the road here. Shawnee uh, does a great job of uh, providing kids with uh, tactile learning. So they're able to kind of hit the ground running. Uh, you know, in the field, and so we kind of see a need for service techs that will be out in the field, and having that hands-on knowledge is absolutely uh, necessary. So uh, they've done a great job with the program here. The hands-on time that I got in class in the labs was very helpful. It helped me um, get a better sense of how things work, and uh, on top of that, the peer-to-peer -peer interactions that I got were really beneficial for problem solving and things of that nature. And uh, I mean, I use that, those skills every day at work. Right now I'm working on a system that pretty much takes an image and detects a swimmer in that image. So then the robot can move to perfectly center that swimmer. And then also I started um, annotating the data so that the AI will know what it's looking at when it is trained to follow the swimmer's arms and get the breakdown of angles and kind of the pitches and all that. Roughly over a hundred injection molding machines. Every single injection molding machine has a robot on it and that's kind of go hand in hand with the new robotics uh, lab that we're trying to get here at Shawnee. Um, usually when we hire a new employee for uh, the plastic engineering jobs at Stanley, we have to send them out to get training for robotics. Um, hopefully, you know, maybe we could keep hiring Shawnee grads, which we currently have about 15 of them at Stanley. And I see how much automation and how much robotics goes into what they learn and what they do. And I, it just kind of ties everything together to show kind of where society is going and where the workforce is going toward AI and the field of automation as a whole the capacity for the program? For plastics in particular, probably uh, 125 students. Oh, okay, so you got, you got room to grow. Right. Yeah, okay. This is, uh, in, in my mind, a, uh, an example of what higher education or post high school education is uh, to be about. It's about um, conserving costs. This is, is one of the, the least expensive uh, public universities. Uh, in the state of Ohio, and it's teaching um, real-time uh, academics, the engineering programs, um, uh, those types of things that they have here. And I was just so impressed at what they do compared to what I think a lot of other colleges and public universities do in the state to make sure when people walk out that door with that diploma, they are prepared, they are ready to go to work. When we look at all the places we could invest in the state uh, in higher education, we have to make sure that we're making right, the right choices in investing in things like, like, like Shawnee State uh, to upgrade some of their facilities and their learning environments to make sure that, they're, that the students are seeing and touching the right equipment, the right laboratories, that are going to be meaningful for them as they go out in the workplace. Seeing those graduates that are out there in the, in, in the field of Procter & Gamble, GE, where they, they right. test the big engines, uh, you know, and, and, and the young man that uh, uh, was, uh, you know, said, hey, uh, I was in Germany uh, making bottle caps, uh, designing bottle caps, and then I was in California designing sunglasses. What a great thing for a kid uh, from, from our local area to be able to do. Uh, so top to bottom, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful uh, campus, uh, but I think it's really all about the people that have been assembled here. It's a, it's a team that cares about the community and cares about the state, and uh, that's the sort of thing that, that we really want to lift up in the Ohio Senate. I think, uh, I think this is a major asset for Ohio.
Uh, Shawnee State's very important to Southern Ohio because this is a great opportunity that's near to home, that's very affordable, that is a we have the opportunity to come here and learn and develop these skills to then take them into the career, into our careers.